guess we'll start from my favorite view of the tank and this that'll be this side of course when it's packed out with corals it's gonna look much better but anyway this is a seven foot long tank running two jabors four t5s and a metal highlight in the center and hopefully i'm gonna be able to grow any coral any sbs wherever i put it on the sand bed or the top it doesn't matter as you can see i did add a, another power head in and that was just to keep flow on that uh, torch because right now i have the uh the pp20 jabors on uh crest mode because they are too powerful to run 24 7 even on the lowest setting on a seven foot tank it, i mean it's crazy it was crazy but i'm pretty sure if it was all sbs i chose to put that um that torch up there and it can't handle that much flow i might move it down one day but i'm not sure about that but anyway it's my little um Zoo garden sorry for the light but they are all doing pretty decent polyps out except my red pe people eaters they have um aptasia on there and it's bothering them that green pasilla done great i'm not sure what those are called but they look awesome um going around my chavis hour here i'm gonna put tons of chavises on here once i get get ready to do that right now i'm stocking it with fish as you can see i do have i just added two clownfish they are the uh, mocha clownfish and um, uh, of course they look black and white but they're pretty decent they got them pretty cheap still have my two yellow tangs they're doing good as you can see they're still eating like pigs that damsel that yellow damsel has become a headache with the uh, clownfish but they'll snap back every now and then this is my other yellow tang my coral my Duncans look great as always got that orange monty back there is doing okay um, the war core is growing amazing. The colors are great. And um, of course that bonsai in the back there is doing great too. As you can see the polyps are out, extending pretty decent. I might end up moving it up soon, but as of now, uh, I also have to go get glue. Cause as you can see my teal um, staghorn was actually over here, but it's uh, moved because I don't know, it was a snail maybe. But anyway, the digi doing great. That uh, core, I forget what it is, it's doing okay. I added that because I got it for free. There's two pieces in here I got for free. That one, of course, you can see in the die off. So I just put it there just to see what it'll do. Right next to my other Montes that have did well, so I'm pretty sure that will do well. Lobo and that coral doing it great. Of course, Green Star Polyps, this is a, my, uh, another piece that I got. Not for free, but I paid 12 bucks for this guy. So it looks like it's a blue base with green polyps and the green polyps have like an orange center. I have no idea what it is. I think it's a sophastria maybe or something like that. We'll figure out once it starts to grow. Um, I moved that down because it failed. I just set it there and then to do its thing. Uh, it's a high door, a high, hydro, hydrophora or something like that kind of SPS. I forget. But um, Antonada doing good. Is frog spawn. I have a green toadstool that I had in the 75. I fragged it, gave it to a friend. Same friend that I gave that um, bonsai to. He gave that back. His tank is only a 29 gallon, so he don't have much room for most of the stuff. And that was just, of course, getting too big. This is another piece that I got for free, which is a pink bird's nest. And as you can see why I got it for free is definitely dying off. But this is how I built my last with my 50 with my 54 gallon. Getting corals that I mean no matter what corals they are, of course the ones that I like, but um no matter if they're dying or not, I'll offer them a uh, half price or 70% off or just free for for the most part they'll give it to you for free. And he gave me that for free, so we're gonna see what that one can do. Hopefully it turns out and looks like these guys sooner or later. I have noticed that um these coral instead of growing straight up now, they kinda got like a like spray it to them. I guess that's the reason why the T5s are able to give that feel like to all of the SPS arms on it. But anyway, um, candy canes are doing awesome. These uh, orange mushrooms that I have not traded in, I need to go trade in. I got tons of them. So my eight can garden is doing fine. Uh, I will need to add more, of course. That frog spot. Oh, I forgot about my bubble cord which is doing great. As you can see, I'm still feeding the uh, seaweed because keep the tang aggression down. 
And um, as far as the main display, this is it with it. It's still doing great. All the corals are looking amazing. Like I said, the scratches are one of the things on this tank that I feel like, like, I mean, the tank was free, so I dealt with it. I'm gonna deal with that. But um, I consider in the future, far, far in the future, after I get, you know, I might end up trading the tank out for the same dimensions and, you know, the same everything, but that's in the future and I, that's a maybe. So anyway, it depends on how this tank does. With that being said, go down to the sump. And then the sump, we still got the UV sterilizer, the Jaboa UV sterilizer going off the Jaboa 2500 um, worth, uh, I guess you would call that a return pump, pump, whatever. But of course, I'm running the Synergy, Reef Synergy Overflow. And let's take it to the front side of it. Okay. Also have a coral box B700 plus protein skimmer. And it's ran off of Jaboa, I think a 4500. It does amazing as well. Keeps good skin rate. I need to clean that. I will be cleaning it in a moment. Now I did want to show you guys something about the sump. So here I use, on this side I use a quarter inch, quarter inch, and it's a quarter inch. Basically I use quarter inch P, uh, not PVC, uh, plastic plexiglass for the sump all the way around except on the top baffle. This top baffle here, I use like an eighth of an inch quarter uh, plexiglass. And look what it is. And then it's, it's free. It's not in my hand. Anyway. But it, it's, it's basically came apart. And it's the same one that I have here. But it, it was my fault. It, it hasn't stopped anything. Uh, everything is still great. The sump is still, I mean, the refugium part is still full. Has tons of algae. I also bought snails. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But um, it, it's still doing well, so I'm not going to mess with it for now. Uh, I guess I'll figure out something in, in the future uh, how to rig that up together. But anyway, like I said, this is True Reef, and this is the update on the 200 gallon Jabor Reef tank.